Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Hobbyist Fish Keeper. I am Will and today's video is going to be about painting your aquariums. What colour to choose and how to do it. First of all, here's one I prepared earlier, downstairs. So as you can see, I painted this tank uh, white a couple of months ago. And when I first did it, I was very impressed with it and I thought it was really, really cool. Um, but having lived with it for a couple of months, I've actually grown to not like it as much as when you go to, say, your local fish shop and you see that they've got blue and black backgrounds to their tanks. I think they do that because it, uh, unlike this, doesn't wash the fish out, so the colours are a lot more uh, brighter and they, they pop at you. Whereas with a white background, I think the fish get washed out because of the, of the, the brightness of the background and it's kind of giving like a backlight effect. Uh, although it does look clean, um, and it makes your tank look brighter in itself, um, it washes out your fish. Now obviously this isn't a planted tank, so I think your, your greens and your red plants would pop against it. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, and that's not what we're going to be painting today. Um, we're going to be painting a blue colour today, uh, as you'll see upstairs in a second. So another reason why I don't recommend it, uh, because of the white background, if you do have an algae problem, now I don't have an algae problem because I'm kind of OCD on cleaning the tank, but sometimes a few specks will start showing up if I leave the light on too long in the daytime. So the, the algae that grows on the back glass against the white background shows up like a green illuminescent dots and I do mean illuminescent, they really, they really are bright against that white background. So that's another reason why I don't recommend it. You'd have to keep on top of your, your tank cleaning to, uh, to make sure that it looks crystal white all the time and it, it looks crystal, crystal clean. Um, so with that said, we'll head back upstairs and start with the painting of the tank. So there you go, that was a white fish tank. Well, that's not what we're doing today. We are doing a blue fish tank. So first of all, you will need some paint. Uh, not just any old paint. Um, I use water-based acrylic paint. Two reasons, it's pretty cheap and you can buy it in quite a big quantity. And secondly, it comes off really easy if you make a mistake. And if you want to change your mind a couple of months down the line, um, like I've said downstairs, I don't like that white tank, but it's staying white for the time being because I've got all these to paint and I'll be painting them blue. Um, just to make it all uniform really. So you've got your paint, next you'll need a roller. I like to use a little roller because it's easier to control where you're putting the paint and obviously you'll need your paint tray as well. So I'm gonna bang some paint in this and I'll show you what to do next. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that your glass is clean before you paint it because if you have any remnants on there, you're only gonna be painting over it and you'll be able to see it through the glass. Um, so what I use is a bit of window cleaner. Some tissue roll. So there we go, some lovely clean glass. Time for the paint. Okay, so you've cleaned your glass and you've loaded up your brush with paint. Now, I recommend that you don't absolutely soak this in paint because you wanna be doing thin layers because you're not just gonna do one layer on this and that's that. You're gonna be doing a couple of layers on this. So, nice and thin so it dries quite quickly. Uh, you can use a hairdryer in between, um, sorry, in between coats. Uh, don't put it on hot, put it on cold and stand about half a meter away. That should help with the acrylic to dry. Um, on your first coat you want to be going all one direction and then on your second coat you want to be going the opposite direction. Now because this is um, a full glass pane, it's got no white plastic bits or anything like that, I don't need to mask anything off. Whereas if you add say a pl plastic trim, then you want to mask that off so you don't get paint everywhere. Um, I'm just hanging it over the edge of this little lip so I can get it all the way to the edges. And away we go.
So there we go, first coat of paint. Now as you can see, I don't know whether that shows up on the camera, but this bottom corner is quite see-through at the moment. So um, basically, when you're doing your second coat and you're going the opposite direction, obviously it will gradually thicken up uh, and then it will become completely one block of colour. So I'm going to give it around about half an hour and then I'll come back and give it a second coat. So there you go, uh, that's coat number two. I've probably got another two maybe coats on these two tanks now. Um, I got bored waiting for that one to dry so I started a little tank as well. Um, that's how you paint a tank in a nutshell. Water-based acrylic, a roller, a few coats, Bob's your uncle. Um, I'm doing blue. I'd say recommending if you're taking photographs of fish in a nice tank. So say you're taking pictures of male beaters. I'd say a black background would be better for taking pictures. Uh, the blue is just for natural popping of the colours uh, that I recommend. And I don't recommend white, although if you want to do it white, do it white. Each to their own. I just don't like it anymore. Uh, and I completely forgot, I've recently hit 100 subscribers. So if you're not hit the subscribe button yet, please do so. Thank you very much for the, my first 100 subscribers. It does mean a lot. Um, I set up this little channel a couple of months back, not thinking I'd get 10 subscribers to be honest, so 100 is a great milestone for me. Onwards and upwards, I plan on doing at least two videos a week from the from here on in. You will see the fish, fish rack growing, uh, as you will have already seen, I've now grown to five tanks anyway. Um, I've just ordered a three foot long tank to be custom made for me, for um, my middle shelf. I'm thinking cichlids, not quite sure, but I don't know what to put in this yet, I just bought this on a whim the other day, so if you've got any ideas please leave it in the description box below, um, toying with plex, breeding some plex maybe, I don't know yet, um, thanks for joining me and I'll see you all again soon, cheers!